Hi, everyone, and welcome. Uh, this is an interview with Rutger Wilhelm. And the cool thing about Rutger Wil Wilhelm is that he's just um, published a book. And I, and I, I, I just saw on Amazon that um, it, it, it has the release date that uh, it was like November 19th, so only like 10 days ago, at least on Amazon US. Um, it, um, is, that, is that accurate? Is, um, was, was your book just, just barely um, published this month? That is accurate. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's, 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 it has just published since a few days, I think. Yeah, so, you know, so, so 10 days maybe or so. Yeah, so you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, um, that's, that's really, really cool. And, um, and then this, um, this is, uh, this is one of the, uh, one of the very, or, or, or uh, the, the, there aren't very many books on cluttering. There, uh, there are lots, uh, there are lots and lots of books on stuttering with a, with like a chapter um, in the back about cluttering or, um, but, um, but, but as far as like actual, um, books, um, books available and, and books available that are like, that you can buy on Amazon right now. I think, um, I think this is like the third book. There's, there's Kathy Scaler's, Kathy Scaler dots. Dot. <laughs> yeah, exactly. or, um, and, um, and, and Yvonne's book and, and, and now your book. Um, um, do you know of any other books like that you can actually like go on Amazon and buy it? Honestly, I, I, I wouldn't know of any other book on, on, on Amazon. Yeah, so, so, yeah. So I think you're right. you're right about that. I think, yeah. Yeah, and um, and and when I uh, when I first learned about uh, when I first learned about cluttering and um, and and as I was as I was reading um, um, like 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 back when um, back um, how, how many years ago is it like ten, uh, well like a long long time ago thirteen uh, no no um, twenty um, twenty three years ago when I first learned about cluttering then. Um, and, and, and probably like 20 years ago was when I was like, like trying to find a lot of books on it. Um, all, um, all I found were like university papers, um, super, super old books, like, like Dessa Weiss's books that, um, that's out of print that you have to like go to, um, go to some like online, like specialty bookstore to get. And, um, like, uh, like, like back then there was nothing like in print that, um, in, in print that you could actually like buy, um, buy somewhere. And, and and I was kind of thinking of writing a book, and I um, and, and the um, and the title the, the working title of my cluttering book was going to be some new stuff about cluttering, um, just um, just because like all the stuff that I was reading was like 30, 30 years old or or twenty years old, like uh, like there wasn't very much like new new stuff on cluttering. So so it's really really cool that you wrote uh, that you wrote a book and. Um, and um, and that it, and that it's now wide, widely available. So um, so could you uh, could you like, uh, kind of introduce your book and like talk about sure, talk about sure, it um, sure, why, uh, why you wrote it? Um, <clears throat> well, <laughs> good question because you well you know first of all you know actually you know like you were saying already um, myself I was also looking for you know for 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 consumer you know live books you know all covering of course as well so and this. This wasn't really, really there, you know, because uh, all the books were, you know, scientifically uh, written, you know, uh, and, and yeah. So, so I just wanted to 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 make the story, uh, you know, uh, um, published, you know, about about people people who clutter, you know. So, so their stories, you know, uh, I mean, their their experiences, uh, and so so actually, well, my book is called. Uh, too fast for words. This is the the the, the concept first, so you can't see you know, you know the 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 right version now. But you know it's called too fast for words. So and this is actually a, a combination or a mix of well, like I said, ex experiences, story, personal stories of people who clutter, but also you know theoretical information. So actually theory translated into into normal you know normal language. For layman, actually, and and also tips and so on for for your treatment. So you know, it's a combination of all, of all these three things, and I yeah, well, you know, I just hope that this will help people who clutter, you know, in in dealing with their own disorder. So that's why I wrote this this book. Cool. That's um, that's that's awesome. So. Um... So, um, so, so, could, um, could you talk about like the publishing, uh, the publishing part of it? Uh, because, uh, because I saw that you have a, a website, and it's it's too, what what is it? Too fast for words dot com. Exactly. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And and, and it looks um, it looks like pretty professionally done. Like a publishing company um, made it for you. I, I I don't know if you're a web designer or whatever, but uh, um, but 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 um, can you talk about the process of like 
um, going from idea to like actually like uh, like what uh, what happened in the last and 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 I guess um, how long um, how long ago did you start the book? <laughs> well, actually, you know, I, well, you know, the, the the strange thing is, I am a you know a a a pretty quick writer, I think, you know, uh, in general. But you know, but with with this book or this story, it, it was really really difficult, you know, to to put up everything down like I wanted it to be because. You know, there, there are so many angles and so many, you know, uh, uh, you know, um, yeah, you know, perspectives on on, on clothing. You know, that, that that is very difficult to 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 write a a, a logical, you know, fluent uh, book about this this thing. So, so it, yeah, I think it, it, it's uh, maybe it, it has taken me, I, I think, well, maybe eight years in total or something. But also because I first, you know. First, uh, started off with with you know the 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 um, uh, theoretical part of it almost, and then you know you know, you know just 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 uh, added some some personal stories to it. But you know, but but then I thought you know this has to be you know to be totally different, of course, because I have to start with, with the personal story, of course, first, and then yeah, well, you know you know add more more stuff to it. So uh, you know, and and this transition also cost me um, well maybe two or three years, I think. Or, you know, because of course because. Uh, you know, I was doing this this next to my job. You know, so I was doing this part time. So and then it, it costs very very much time to do that. Yeah. So 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 you said you first um, you, you first started it as a more like technical document, and then you added personal narrative into it. Exactly. Yes. Okay. So first of all, you know, yeah, yeah. But later on, of course, I you know, I, yeah, you know, changed this uh, the other way around actually. You know. So yeah, you know, so, so, so the personal stories are are the anchor now of the book. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, that's really cool. Yeah. So um, so, so so then um, and and who who is this published by? Actually, Amazon is. <laughs> oh, Amazon oh, is published, published. Uh, published yeah. by Amazon. By Amazon, yeah, yeah exactly. So uh, yeah, so you know that that you know that is really you know well quite easy I think to to do now you know nowadays just you know just uh, do it uh, through Amazon because uh, you know it, but you know but of course you know this also you know takes very very much time because there are all kinds of phases and, and steps in this process you know of of, of publishing of course you know yeah, but you know which which we don't you know have to go now uh, you know into detail now but you know th there is a big big process of of yeah you starting from a i mean writing your your first letter or actually thinking about the content of course of your book and, and the structure of it and then of actually uh, you know uh, um uh, publishing this through through a publisher somewhere amazon or you know or, uh, or you know or whatever other publisher it is this is uh, a very very you know time consuming thing I know this. I know now. You know. Well, that's uh, that's that's super awesome. You went through all of the steps to um, to do that. So um, so so can we uh, um, can we talk about your um, can we talk about your story because I think you're uh, I think you're atypical of a, of a lot of people people with cluttering because you um, you realized um, you, um, you realized that you had problems with your speech at a pretty early um, age and 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 it looks like if i well like the type um your, your book basically says that you were diagnosed with stuttering and then you realized oh it's cluttering mm -hmm. and um and so 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 one of the um what uh, well, well anyway um could um could you give basically a, an overview of like kind of your life life story um related to sure. speak sure i mean um, well like you said i i started off as a stutterer you know i mean that's what every you know everyone said to me you know in, in the past so you know so i was just thinking okay i stutter and you know there there's there's nothing more to it but you know what when i grew older uh well you know so i think about 15 years old and then later, later on i just started to know or notice that um that you know, I was different from people who you know, really stutter. You know what I mean? So I mean, I mean, of course, stuttering is is uh, uh, often described as a, you know as a as a motoric speech speech disorder. I mean, speech disorder. So I mean, you know, people who stutter they have difficulty with with uh, uh, you know um, with making with with um, telling their, their 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 story in a fluent way 
like they're, they're they're stuck all the time, you know, and and you know, and, and you know, with with cluttering, it's the other way around because people clutter, they they don't have fear, for example, of of talking or stuttering. They 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 can just you know talk ahead, and uh, they don't really encounter all these uh, you know all these blockages, for example, in their speech or or pronunciations. So what they basically do is just going too fast, right? So. And and you know and that was also what what many many people told me also during my my stuttering therapies because I've done quite quite a few I've done I think maybe well four or five at least he does and, and there were all all these people there they they, they, they yeah I mean they always you know told me please slow down I mean and if you slow down if if a person kind of is able to slow down he can speak fluently I mean more more fluent at least or maybe fluent sometimes so. You know, so I really felt very, very different from those people. You know, uh, I mean, of course, in general, uh, you know, couples, you know, uh, like them because we all encounter, you know, the, the, the same emotional problems and so, so on. But in my speech, I was much different from them. So, so I, you know, you know, so after, after I think five, four, yeah, four or five therapies or something, I just, uh, uh, you know, heard from 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 somebody who told me that I was going too fast and she, she advised me to, to go to, to a therapist about that. And yeah, so, you know, so things start running and uh, yeah, so I, I, and then at the age of, I think 30 something, I, I just uh, got to know about my cluttering. So, so you know, so I've, I've lived about 25 years as a stutterer and then knowing or discovering that, that you clutter is a very strange thing, strange thing, of course. <clears throat> uh, so, so who, um, who, who told you that, or did you, uh, like, 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 how did, you, um, how did you, how did you come upon um, cluttering? Be, um, because for me, um, for me, I went to speech therapy, and they said, oh, we think, uh, we think you have this thing called cluttering, and that's our, uh, that's our diagnosis. Um, but uh, so, so, so I'm wondering if you like. Like, like, did you finally go to a bunch of speech therapists, and and or, or, or like, how, um, how, how did you realize? Oh, this is, um, this is cluttering, and this, um, this thing, uh, this thing that I thought was stuttering actually has a word. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, that's that's actually because you know back then there was you know one one therapist in my country, you know, the Netherlands, who yeah, who who was or is you know uh, you know a a a rather you know well well, well known figure in 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 the cluttering. Uh, community so and well so so she just you know knew about this you know about about these these two two disorders you know um actually you know uh uh you know working parallel to each other so uh, yeah so she was able to to diagnose me with the cluttering and uh yeah so you know and so yeah you know some so things just started from there cool cool so um so do you think that you ever had a, uh, do you think that you ever had a stuttering component? Uh, because a lot of people have both stuttering and cluttering. And, uh, and do you think that you have a stuttering, stuttering component now? Yes, I think so. Because, you know, well, I, well, you know, I can call myself a, a person who clutters, I think, you know, but, uh, well, but, you know, but, I, well, I mean, most people clutter, they, they also have a stuttering component in that. So, yeah, I, I think about, you know, two, two thirds of the people who clutter, I think, uh, they, they have, you know, the, the stuttering component, but, you know, so I, I'm a primarily, I mean, I primarily, I'm a, I'm a clutterer and I, I think I, I slightly am a stutterer as well. But, well, I mean, when I, for example, when I'm tired or when I'm stressed out or something, you know, then you know the, the stuttering, uh, yeah, I mean, is 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 also there, you know. So, and then I, I can get stuck on some words or some some sounds maybe, but that that's really really very very few, a uh, little. I mean, yeah. And 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 which um, which which sounds do you have the hardest problem with, or which sounds trigger um, stuttering? Actually, I wouldn't really know because you know. This can vary, you know, uh, through time, or you know, uh, and, and also de depend on the uh, context. I think, you know, so I don't have, you know, a, a actually a a real fear or something for for sound or, or word or whatever. But I think, you know, I think uh, if I had to choose one, well, I think maybe the B or something. Yeah, I guess. But you know, again, you know, I I really stutter not that much anymore at least. Because well, you know. When I was younger, I think I was stuttering more. I think. 
And and do you know what um, do you know what sounds you stuttered on when you were a kid? Not really again. I, th I think you know, well, you know, it was more I, I, you know I, I'm, you know the 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 stuttering you know was was more a consequence of me going too 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 fast. I think as, as well. You know, so I mean, when you're going too too fast, then you you know that then you are then you just have 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 uh, less time to uh, pronounce your 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 sounds and words. You know, the good way. So. I think uh, that's that's the reason why you know I also started uh, back then more than I do now, but uh, but there weren't any, any sounds I was afraid of or something. Like that. Okay, and, and and I'm not a um, I'm not a speech therapist, so um, so so whatever I uh, whatever I say uh, whatever I say about uh, what uh, what I think stuttering is it, um, isn't isn't like official or anything, um, but but from uh, from 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 like my def uh, from my definition of stuttering then. Or, or and actually, like like everyone that I know that um, has has stuttering can, um, can answer that question very uh, like even um, even people who uh, like even people who are um, like, like their stuttering never comes out except for in like like one time per year like like people that have conquered their stuttering like that um, that much um, still have uh, um, still have the answer to that question of. Like oh well it's it's the W sound or it's the S sound or um, like um, like like that's um, that's the sound so so anyway it, and with my uh, with uh, with my definition of of stuttering which uh, which 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 I'm saying isn't isn't actually official um, then uh, then I would rank you as like ninety nine percent cluttering one per, uh, one percent stuttering. Um, yeah, I think so. Yeah, uh, um, just, um, just because, and, and the way that um, the way that I describe cluttering is that to uh, um, to someone that doesn't understand what what we do when we are like uh, I'm going too fast and repeating like, like repeating the same the same sound over and over and over again, um, that th that to someone that doesn't understand sounds like almost identical to stuttering, um, but um, but. But it's like fundamentally different because um, because what you and I are uh, what uh, what you and I are doing like 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 it kind of uh, it kind of sounds to someone that doesn't under or that that doesn't know much about speech to be just completely identical. But but it's actually like when uh, when you break it down, it's it's totally different. And and, and probably if you like mapped out like muscle um, like all the muscles and whatever, then then there's a completely different thing like going on in your. Um, in your face and like speech produ um, pre speech production, even though uh, even though you and I might be saying or uh, um, um, might be saying something that sounds really really similar, and and um, one of the things like like for me um, for me there's this thing that happens to me sometimes where my speech just totally breaks down and it's it's super super embarrassing for me and I think the last time it happened the last time it happened was like over a year ago where um, where like so much is going on inside of my head and I'm trying to like, like just kind of my head's bouncing around and then my speech is bouncing around and and the sounds that are coming out of my mouth are completely unintelligible and 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 I don't think uh, what, what, well now um, now my speech is under control enough so that that never or, or that um, the last time that happened was like a year and a half ago and hopefully um, hopefully it doesn't happen for uh, for another year because um, um, that's like the most embarrassing thing uh, for me uh, for, for me in my life when my speech breaks down uh, like that and I just can't I I can't continue and I open my mouth and like um, sounds are coming out but um, uh, uh, um, like like just kind of um, like stuttering sounding like sounds are coming out of my mouth but it's still like it's still it's still it's still the same uh, like like what I'm doing now is mild cluttering and then and then the super embarrassing breakdown moment that I'm talking about is um, is is pretty is pretty severe um, is pretty severe cluttering but uh, um, but um, but yeah and 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 back like before um, before I before I found out or, or like. Um, back like 10, 10 years ago, like the longer back in my history, the more I had those like embarrassing, like kind of meltdown um, moments. So, um, so, so anyway, um, th uh, that's, that's, I think, similar to what you're talking about, about when speaking faster and faster and faster, and then you get kind of like 
um, stuttering sounding like repetitions that um, that happen. So uh, so that's so that's really really uh, that's really really cool. Um, now now uh, you uh, you just got uh, in 2019. I read um, on like uh, 2019. You're uh, you got um, um, appointed or whatever to the stuttering to, to some stuttering board on yeah. And, and 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 sorry, I um I don't have um, I don't have that up on my um, internet any, anymore. But um but 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 what um what what's that the international inter inter international well you know this, this uh, I mean last year I I uh, yeah I, I stepped into the international stuttering association so the ISA you know you know which is like oh, and, a bunch and, of people and yeah. so and so with uh, with your book and and I'm so, sorry can you can you read the can you read the subtitle in your book it's called oh sorry sure yeah so it says uh, you know so so two fast words and then how discovering that I don't stutter but the clutter changed my life yeah, that, and, that, that's and, and so now are they going to kick you out of the ISA because you? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. On the contrary, I mean, you know, no. Why, 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 you know, I mean, you know, I mean, you know, they, they actually, you know, there actually are seven people in it, or so, or nine people. No, no. Sorry, there, there are eight people in, in, in this board, board of uh, of directors of the ISA, and I'm the only person of color, so that that is right, you know. But yeah, well, you know, but I think you know, I can, you know, be, because of that, I can just you know, try to contribute, in, you know, to the entire world almost, you know, uh, like say, I mean, saying like, you know, there's also something else, uh, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, than stuttering. So, so there is stuttering too. So, so this gives me the, the opportunity, of course, to, to, to spread the word about stuttering, you know, so, which is good. And, and, and of course, next to that, I'm also, I think, I think I've been for five or six years now, almost, I've been the, uh, the chairman of the consumer committee within the International Cluttering Association, so the ICA. So uh, yeah, and you know, and, and I mean that that's that's a great a great group of people as well. So you know, so so I mean yeah, I mean I like you know being involved in in this um, uh, community. Cool, and 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 so how um, how did you get um, how did you get involved with and, and, and are you are are you a professor or uh, what's your uh, what's your what, what's your education um, background? Well, actually, I've I've. Uh, I've done the, you know, the, um, uh, well, let's say I've, I, I finished my, my master's degree in, in, in business science, you know, so, so yeah, so in marketing and, 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 and communications. So uh, that's where I started off, you know, with my career uh, as well. So I, I'm, I'm not a professor, but I just, uh, you know, you know, you know just, just a working guy in a, in a, you know, I'm working for a, um, uh, a university uh, in, in my country, uh, so as a marketeer, so so that's uh, what, what I'm doing. Cool. So 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 how does a um, how does a marketing um, how does a marketing business guy um, become uh, become part of the International Stuttering Association and and the International um, Cluttering Association? Because most of the most of the folks on those uh, most of the folks there are like university professors, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, no, no. I mean, yeah, I might, you know, within the ISA, uh, within the ISA board, you know, they're they actually, you know, all people stutter, and, and, they, and you know, well, you know, they they don't have a scientific background or something, you know, but uh, which is different from the from the ISC. I mean, there there are there are people, a few people exactly who you know are, who are scientists or therapists or whatever. Uh, well, actually, you know, I I got into the ICA first, so and that was actually, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah. It started off in in, in a place in, in my country, the Netherlands, uh, where there was a conference about cluttering, you know, and and there I actually, I actually met with some you know some people in this field as well, and you know, and, and actually I think things started off from there, and I was asked to to step into the uh, consumer committee of the ICA, and yeah, so th that's how how it went, and um, yeah, so that that, that was great. Cool, cool, and 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 so um, so your book um, your book took a lot of re uh, your book took a lot of research and um, and and like I remember um, I remember like in in college and in university I uh, like 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 doing research uh, in those settings like like when I was going to school just wasn't really very fun like like I wanted to like finish my research so I could do the fun stuff um, even though. Um, even though, like, um, I think if I had continued, like, to get a master's degree, then it, 
like the more the, the higher the education, I think the more fun the the research um, becomes. Um, and and then like like research that I've done like after um, after college has been really really interesting. Like there's tons of fun things to um, to learn and to research. So 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 how um, how did you get uh, how, um, how did you get involved in in like going uh, going into the um, uh, like 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 putting on your like, kind of your researcher hat, and then um, and then um, can um, can you give an um, can you give an example like uh, like a story about um, some something that you kind of had to do research to like figure out or um, oh, or yeah. well you know when I was 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 diagnosed with cholera, I mean uh, you know I I just. You know, I was so I was so amazed. I was really, really flabbergasted about this. So I, you know, well, actually, right away, I started to read. You know, uh, what was available only also online. You know, some 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 stuff. But 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 you know, the most most important uh, thing for me was to read books as well. You know, I mean, like you did as well. You know, so all kinds of books about coloring, scientific books again. You know, articles. You know, that, that all kinds of people have written about. Uh, you know, and and uh, yeah, I mean, and 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 I think you know, in in the last couple of years or so, you know, uh, also uh, on cluttering, there there were more you know articles and, and videos, for example, online. You know, so, so I you know also learned learned from that. But of course, I I, I also started to interview people who, who, who clutter as well, um, you know, so, so, and, and by doing this, I mean, talking to, to scientists, talking to, 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 to therapists, talking to people who clutter, that all helped me, you know, and, and better, and better understand, and getting a better understanding of cluttering. So, yeah, so, you know, so all this together, books, conferences, having interviews, uh, uh, you know, uh, yeah, this all con contribute to, to my knowledge. And, and yeah, I mean, I truly feel, you know, somehow, you know, like an expert, you know, because, well, I think, I think I know more, <laughs> honestly. Well, I'm, I'm, you know, I don't want to be arrogant, of course, but I, I think I, 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 I know more about cluttering already than, you know, people who, who work as a clinician or a, or a therapist, because, which is logical, because they, has to do with much, much more kind of uh, speech disorders, right? And, and and language problems and, and, and swallow things, a disorder and so on. So they, and they have actually had in their studies, I guess in general, maybe maybe a few hours of of lecture about cluttering. Well, I mean, because cluttering is still at universities and, you know, and, 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 and I mean, it's, it's still, a very, very, very small part of the education. So yeah, so they couldn't even know almost about coloring more than I do. You know, so that's so that's. Oh yeah, yeah I um, I ran I ran into a speech therapist. Um, th uh, this was uh, this was a long time ago, and and she said, oh yeah, I I, I know a lot about um, I know a lot about cluttering because uh, because we studied a lot we studied it a lot in uh, in in my master's program. And uh, and I said, well, how how much did you study? And she said, oh, three um three three whole units. And and I and I said, um, what's what's a unit? And and, and basically one unit is is like one one day or, or, or like a one hour of a university class. Yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> uh, um, so 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 from her perspective, three three units or, or three hours uh three hours of cluttering um uh, three hours of listening to her professor talk about cluttering, um. What uh, was uh, was a whole bunch, and um, and 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 that's something that I've thought. Uh, that's something I've thought a lot about. A lot about too, um, because I, um, well, I think um, I think if you, I think anyone that reads um, one book on cluttering generally is going to know more than like ninety nine percent of um, speech uh, um, speech pathologists. I think so. And too. so um, and so um, and so that's uh, well, well, actually, um, have have you? Um, after you after you finished your first book on cluttering, did you ha, have you gone to speech therapy after that? Yeah, sure. I mean, I've done. You well, know, actually, I've, I've done speech um, speech therapy on uh, on cluttering before that. You know, uh, but but also during you know also of course during the 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 the, the writing process. So I I think I've and I've had you know, um, maybe three um, or how four. Does it, uh, how does it feel? Um, how does it feel to be getting speech therapy by someone that um, knows less about cluttering than you do? It's funny. <laughs> well, well, you know, actually, you know, you know that. I mean, 
I've I've uh, seen I think three three or four therapists for for cluttering already. Well, you know, so, but 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 I think that you know the 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 funny thing is that that she I mean they obviously know know more about you know uh, speech d d disorders in general. I mean you know so 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 the so the treatment part and, and theory uh, maybe as well, and I know more about my, my own experiences and you know uh, things like that. So so I mean so in therapy. And that's that's the I think the the great part of it in therapy these two 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 things come, come together, you know, and, and make a whole, you know. So that I think that's that that is great about therapy, and um, yeah. So so and, and there was a, a you know uh, kind of a balance as well between me and and, and these therapists because you know I okay. I think I knew more than they about covering. So, and, and they knew more about, you know, the entire speech process and, you know, and, and problems in, 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 in your mind and, and you know, the, 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 neuro the neurological problems, for, for example, stuttering, cluttering and so on and, and treatment. So th that was great. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, and and um, and actually, one of the um, w when I participate in like online communities, one of the uh, one of the big questions that I uh, um, that I that I get is basically uh, basically like my my therapist seems to only know a little bit a little bit about cluttering. Will speech therapy still be good for me? And and I always answer yes, and then I come up with like twenty reasons why, uh, um, including some of the stuff that you said about why um, why it's really good to go to speech therapy, even though. Um, even though your speech therapist may only have like a little bit of information about um, um, specific to cluttering. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, and, well, I mean, I mean, you know, I, I noticed that, for example, you know, a speech, speech therapist, I think they're, they're, they're going to educate the, the, themselves more and more and more as well. You know, I mean, I mean, well, there are some, some course, of course, for, for them as well, you know, given by some experts in the field. So, yeah, so, so they have the, the, the opportunity as well to, to, you know, to just learn more after their, their studies. And, and I, and I noticed that in my country, at least, there, there are quite some, some uh, speech therapists who have, done that you know so and i hope that that also you know in america for example or or, or other places in the world that, that they're that they also are eager to learn more about this disorder so yeah and i think um and and, and i think that's um i think that's true and i think that um and I think that we're we're in kind of like a renaissance of of just uh, well, especially um, especially with your book of just more and more information being available about it where where it just hasn't been um, available before. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so so one of the things uh, one of the things that I do and um, and I've never I've never done this actually with a speech with a speech therapist, but um, but 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 it's kind of. Uh, well, anyway, uh, um, the technique that I uh, the the technique that I do, um, especially with my friends that um, that um, that are and, and they don't actually have to be really good at at speaking or public speaking, but especially like before I um, before I give a speech or before I give uh, or uh, before I have a conversation that's just really really important to me. Then, uh, th then what I'll do is I'll find someone that um, doesn't have cluttering. And I will, uh, I'll say, hey, I'm going to tell my, I'm going to, I'm going to tell you the story, or I'm going to tell you this speech, or whatever. And then what I want, then what I want you to do is just tell me back exactly what I um, said. Yeah. And that'll help. And then I explain, oh, that'll help me. Um, so, so, so I tell, so I tell my speech, and it kind of jumps all over the place. And then they, they tell it back to me, and, um, it, and like compared to, um, compared to what I said, I'm like, oh, wow, this is, uh, this is awesome. And then I. Then I take a whole bunch of mental notes, and and, and I like um, then I take a whole bunch of mental notes, and then um, and then it really 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 helps me in when I need to uh, uh, when when I need to like give um, give the speech, and then and then what I do is I practice their version, like like it, um, I um, I practice their version instead of my version because uh, be, because their version wasn't disjointed, um, it had. Like it had the sentences strung together uh, really well. Um, they um, they paused they, they paused for emphasis in all the right places and and all the um, all the stuff that I just don't naturally do. Yeah. So um, so so speaking of techniques, uh, what's what's something that's really helped you? 
Well, you know, I, I think you know that 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 that, that really depends on you know on the type of cleverer that, that you are you know i mean basically i think you you, you i mean you 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 may have talked about this already you know with the other people but you know so, i mean basically you know there 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 are two types of cleverers you know so there are there are the linguistic people clutter so the ling linguistic cleverer and the phonological cleverer you know so and and they have they actually have, have quite different uh types of uh you know of of, of speech uh of, what's the word you know of um uh, symptoms of course you know so i mean so 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 people who linguistically clutter i think you know they 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 tend to maze and stuff you know i mean uh, like like you were saying uh, b before as well in this video you know, i mean you know there 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 are so many thoughts in their head you know all the time and they 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 just try to to Put this in the right order and stuff, and, and you know, and, and also also have a, a very clear you know clear uh, picture of what they are going going to, just to say in general. So the entire message, you know, and 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 the phonological color, for example, uh, has more problems with uh, actually pronouncing sounds and words, and and this is you know really like uh, you know like a, a stream of words and a very very unintelligible you know so so you know that's more like mumbling for, for example you know and so and my type is the first one so i am i'm i'm actually primarily i think a linguistic letterer and so what i do uh what i must do is is uh, taking pauses you know but when i take pauses then actually all these symptoms almost all the symptoms will go away so so then I don't, for example, maze anymore. Then I don't have rep repetitions anymore in my speech. Then I don't, uh, you know, use sentence sentence revisions anymore. And so this this all just disappears. So for me, taking pauses works. But but I guess you know for for you know for someone else who covers maybe, they may do something else. And I know what but, you know can can help for for them as well. But you know, uh, yeah, that that is different. Yeah, and that's um, that's really uh, that's really interesting. I um, I hadn't heard of the two um, of the two types of cluttering until um, until recently. Uh, one of the um, uh, one of um, one of the uh, uh, one of my upcoming videos is going to be called um, "Why Why Don't I Sound Like Your Child Who Clutters" or or, or something um, something like that. Um, and um, and and I'm um, and, and I'm going to talk about the two types um, in uh, in that. So, okay. so so one of the things uh, one of the things with cluttering is that it's um, I think I think it's still like in the early like pioneer days about like cluttering um, cluttering re uh, cluttering research and um, and um, even though well I only uh, I only heard about the two types of cluttering um, really really recently so I haven't had time to really like think through and. And like watch people and and that kind of thing, but um, but but my first thought is well uh, maybe there uh, maybe there are three types like the, uh, the the two types you discovered and then a third a third like undiscovered undiscovered type. Um, so so um, in your um, and and obviously um, obviously I'm the I, I'm the first type that you are um, too. So so I don't um, I don't really kind of um, understand the um, under, uh, understand the second type. Um, so, so, uh, um, could you, uh, um, do you understand the second type pretty well? And can you describe, um, yeah, sure. um, can you describe that second type? Yeah, sure. Sure. Well, you know, yeah, it, you know, I mean, you know, the, the thing we, you know, with all colorists is, you know, when they just take more time in, in their speech, you know, then their speech goes more fluid, you know? So, uh, and, and, and that, that is true for, for both type of colorists. So, but you know, but the phonological clutterer, uh, I mean, they they just show different types of symptoms because, well, in, you know, the, the the cause of of it is the same. You know, taking too too little time, and also you know, uh, just um, yeah, you know, just have 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 difficulty with your language planning. You know, uh, but the way that it comes out of their mouth is different, and so so people who have the second version, so the phonological type of clutterer, they tend to collapse syllables and words, uh, you know, uh, I mean, they're, 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 they're blurring syllables or even deleting some, some of the syllables doing that and doing that, you know, so, so, and, and that's when, you, I mean, that's why they, they are becoming 
much more uh, unintelligible because they, you know, again, they 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 collapse their their sounds and the syllables. So um, so that is just a way of uh, of, of expressing their cluttering, which has basically has the the the, the same cause. But there is a difference, I think, you know, I mean, not all people clutter, they have this, this, this language problem, you know, I mean, and, and that, that's also what, what, uh, what I think Cancer Lewis is, is going, going to tell you, uh, maybe in the future. Um, there are people who, who don't have any, any difficulty with their language uh, planning. So, so, they have, so, so they just have this, you know, this, 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 this speech thing which isn't really, really fluent uh, because of then taking too little time. You know, but, but again, in, in both times, that's, that's the basic, uh, basic uh, problem. Huh. Yeah, and, and, uh, and that, makes, um, that makes sense. So, um, so, so th um, thanks for explaining that to me, especially since I'm, sure. I'm still trying to like wrap my head around the second, uh, the second, the second type, and and I uh, well I um, so, uh, since since I learned about that I've been I've been thinking about oh well do I collapse words because I know like like back like 10, 20 years ago I was collapsing words a lot but um, but but I can't and, and I'm sure um, and and I think I think the collapsing words um, is part like I think that's still kind of a normal disfluency because I think like. Regular people, uh, regular people collapse words, just not very frequent at all. Like, uh, like, like maybe not every day or not every, uh, not every week, but, um, but, but, but a lot of times, like just a regular, a regular person without cluttering will say something, and then if you would, if you would record it, um, if, if you were to record it, especially if they're like speaking fast or or or, or, or whatever, then like I think the word word collapsing is like a normal thing, and and as far as I can tell. Um, now I don't do that, or now I do that. Now I collapse words with a uh, like regular rate, like not very often. But but I remember like way um, like, like before I collapse words a lot. So so do you ever do you ever collapse words, or do you remember? Oh, yes, I do. Yeah, sure I do. Of course I do. Yeah, yeah, sure I do. I mean, well, I mean, you know, mostly with, with the longer words. We don't. I mean, with 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 multisyllabic words, for example, that that, that that I can also have. You know, the collapsing of, of, of syllables again. You know, actually, you know, there is there is one thing I want to to to, to explain. Again, as well, because you know, uh, I mean, I mean, um, I mean, both types of, of, of cluttering they, they have to do with language problems. Because when you are taking too little time, you know, you, you, I mean, your language planning gets d disturbed by that, of course. So, so that's why you know people, uh, uh, you know, tend to collapse their, their syllables. You know, but what I meant with 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 language planning in in the last example. I was, you know, I meant, you know, that, that not all people of color have, you know, this this, this disorganized uh, uh, thoughts all the time, you know, but they do experience difficulty in, you know, in planning their sentences and, uh, you know, before they are going to speak, you know, so, 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 I mean, so, so, I mean, language planning can be explained in two ways, you know, so, so during speaking and also during thinking. <clears throat> Okay. Yeah, and that um, and that makes uh, that makes sense. So, so another question is uh, another question, kind of taking a, a, a zigzag back, is um, could could you compare your speech now to your speech when you were uh, like like ten years old or, or, or well, I don't, I don't know if you can remember, but like like your speech now, uh, your um, your speech now to um, to like ten years ago or fifteen years ago or. Or, or just some, um, some point in the past when it, uh, like before you before you learned how to um, control your speech better. Yeah, yeah, you know, def definitely because you know, actually, uh, I mean, the 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 last few years, you know, of, of my life are, are you know, in in terms of speech, they're they're going really really good. Um, you know, I I just learned how to cope with with this disorder. I, I mean, you know, mentally, emotionally, of course, but also speech wise. And, uh, you know, so I, I mean, you know, I mean, now I, I'm speaking, I think on, on a, you know, it, it's, it's, it's okay, you know, but I mean, I'm not really, really, really fluent now, you know, but, but, but for example, at work, I'm really focused all the time on my speech. So at work, I don't have any problems anymore with my, my speech where, you know, whereas back in the, in the past, I was, I, I really, I mean, I really struggle 
with my speech, but you know, but that, that's that, that's also because I didn't know that I was coloring. So, so I didn't know what types of therapy or, or, or techniques I, I could use. You know, so so therefore, um, yeah, my speech has, has really uh, become better uh, the, the last five years or so. You know, uh, but it, it took me some time, of course, to discover how everything works together. You know, so in my first five years of, of therapy. I guess five years here, yeah, I guess. Um, you know, it just, I just had, had to learn about my speech. And now I know exactly how things go and, and why things are happening, and, you know, and what I should do. So, yeah, that really helps me. So, so is this, um, so, so like, um, like, like for me and, and I think for, for a lot of people with cluttering is like, like, like the YouTube video speech or uh, my uh, my YouTube video speech is not my normal speech. And, um, and then, um, and, um, and, and depending on how, um, depending on how like polished I'm trying to make my YouTube video, then, uh, um, then it becomes less and less like my normal speech and more and more like, uh, like, like uh, using all of the tech um, techniques that I've got in my head. So, so, so th um, throughout um, throughout today, um, has this been your normal speech, or is is this your like vi uh, video speech, or or, or, or no, what, are, is, um, what are we hearing? Um, this um, what is, are we hearing yeah. with? Good question. This is my 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 normal speech, I guess. You know, during I mean, at home, for example. You know, or I mean, uh, but but you know, of course, I mean, I'm 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 a non non native speaker as well. You know, I'm so I I, I don't speak English all the time. So I, you know, so 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 that that, that 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 I mean that also makes it makes make, makes a difference for me, of course. So when I, when I'm speaking in Dutch, for example, well, you know, I think it's it's about the, the same now as in English, honestly. You know, but um, but what you are hearing now, I think, is 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 uh, you know in my general speech at home. But again, when I'm speaking I, I, you know, at work, for example, or when I'm really 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 focusing. That I just that I'm just I think almost almost fluent I think now. Cool, cool. Yeah, and I um, I kind of have the same um, experience because in um, so, um, sometimes at work I teach an English class and then um, and then I have like a an online group where I where I teach English and um, and 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 these. Uh, these folks are are listening, like, uh, um, and especially Thai people, because Thai people, Thai people are super afraid to ask any questions, and so, uh, and so, just uh, just because they're so afraid to ask questions, they're uh, they're just like a hundred percent observant about everything. And when I realized that, I realized, oh crap, how am I gonna, uh, how am I uh, like with, with with cluttering? How am I gonna teach this English class? Because and and and, I, um, and and then especially when I'm teaching uh, my the English class, then I'm very very careful and use uh, and I'm like so focused on trying to use all of the techniques of of getting my speech to be very very good and not not repeating stuff because if uh, like, like if I accidentally repeat something, then someone might think, oh, that's actually how the word's pronounced. So, um, <laughs> uh, um, so 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 in that um, in that um, in that scenario, then I'm um, I'm um, very, very careful and like, and, and, and that's, um, that's not my normal speech, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but, um, but yeah, and, 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 and for me, that's, um, the reason I asked that question is it's a really hard question for me because like, like I kind of don't have a normal speech. Like, like if I, if I don't, if I don't use the techniques that I've learned, then I kind of can't even say anything. So, um, um, so, so, so like, like any kind of cohesive um, speech by me isn't actually my, um, my, my normal speech. So, so anyway, that's, uh, uh, that's, uh, that's a really cool um, answer so, um, since you were able to answer a question that I, that I can't. So, so, you know, so, so, so when, um, you know, for, for, for example, when, when, when is your speech, uh, you know, the, 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 I mean, in what in what kind of situations? I mean, you know, is uh, do you think your speech is uh, the best, for example, or is the worst, or you know, do you have any insights on in that? Or <clears throat> so so I think um, I think especially um, especially in Thailand when I'm uh, when I'm speaking to someone that because um, it's interesting all all Thai people speak English or, or like a very very high percentage of Thai people, but but also a very very high percentage of Thai people 
have never actually like practiced their English before. Like, like, um, like, like, like Thai, um, Thai schools will let you like graduate, um, get high marks in English without ever actually like speaking English. And, and the kind of, uh, the kind of speak English, but, but like the teacher will say something and then, then the whole class will repeat back together. And so you could be saying, blah, 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 blah. Um, 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 and, and, um, and you're supposed to be saying like, what's on the board and the teacher never actually catches, oh, this person um, can't actually speak English. And so, um, and so, um, so, so a lot of people, uh, a lot of people will want to have a conversation with me and, um, and, and in, um, in that situation where I know someone's speaking with me just to practice English, then, then that's probably when my, uh, that's probably when my speech is the best because, uh, because they're not, um, it, it, it's not really a fast paced conversation. Um, Thai people have the, um, Thai people have the same question. Where, where are you from? How long have you lived in Thailand? What do you think of Donald Trump? Uh, <laughs> like, like, like it's kind of a battery of like 20 questions that I keep getting answered or asked over and over again. And when I'm, uh, when I'm answering, I'm, I'm more trying to give an answer in a way that they can understand, or like using words that they can understand because, because whenever, whenever I'm speaking to a Thai person, I want them to like go away from that conversation feeling like, yeah, um, cool. I, um, I finally talked to a foreigner and um, I understood everything he said and he understood everything I said. Oh, this is, uh, this is really, really cool. Um, I was I, I was afraid for nothing. Um, uh, maybe I'll go talk to another foreigner, and um, w uh, w uh, which uh, which which I think is cool. But then um, but then the bad thing is like like a lot of times Thai people have come up to me and said, "Hey, um, how come you can understand me and I can understand you, but he can't understand anything that I'm saying?" Um, so um, so so anyway, but um, uh, but that first like big win. Um, that's uh, that's what I'm uh, that's what I'm going for in in like like when I talk to a taxi driver or well, actually uh, most taxi drivers um, uh, but, but but like when I'm talking to a restaurant owner when I'm talking to j just anyone um, anyone that's like practicing their uh, practicing their English with me then then that's um, that's when my English is best because it's it's kind of it's uh, like the environment's really controlled um, I've um, um, they're, they're probably not going to ask too much outside of the like 20 questions that most most Thai people ask me and and I and I can totally focus on how do I say this in a way that the person can understand. Yeah. So um, so and and then um, and then because uh, because most of the people in Thailand are, are Thai people then um, then just like like whenever I'm talking to a Thai person this like switch in my head says okay well you can't you can't talk to them normally. Or like, like whatever my normal is, uh, you, you have to use these techniques. So, so like whenever I'm talking to a Thai person, then I'm always using techniques, and so uh, just um, just because it, and and because uh, because I clutter, I just really really like speaking fast, and uh, and so sometimes like when a foreigner comes from overseas, like uh, like, like this has happened a couple uh, this has happened a couple times. A foreigner comes from overseas, and I like kind of grab onto them and like blah 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 blah. Um, <laughs> speak super super fast, and they're like, "What, what, what the heck is going on, Joseph? Slow down, slow down." And 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 I have to explain, "Oh, it's it's just because I haven't seen a for I haven't talked to a foreigner in quite a long time, and um, and I have all this like I thought you could understand my my normal speech, but uh, yeah. but." But you can't. So, so, so basically, the answer to your question of, of the worst, um, the worst is when, um, the worst is when, um, when I meet someone that I'm very, very comfortable with, and then, um, and, and then, um, and then I like forget about my techniques, and then, uh, um, and then that's kind of when my speech um, breaks breaks down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, so what, 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 what exactly? I mean, do you mean with with with, with breaks down? You know, I mean, I mean, you were saying, uh, you know, earlier that, for example, you know, I mean, you were, that, that, you know, that only sounds are coming out of your mouth, for example, and they're. Oh they're yeah, yeah, and, and I um, like like it's been so it's been so long, and it, um, and it's been so long that I. Um, that it, it, and and like even 
even if it happened tomorrow, then I probably wouldn't have a good description because like my mind's not like analyzing um, everything at that point. But but probably um, um, probably probably now what I mean by breaks down is that I'm is that I'm amazing in a way that um, uh, uh, that, that amazing meaning like like I'll I'll think of something and then I'll and then I'll go off on that direction and then I'll uh, and then I'll try to continue and 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 then just my uh, and, and then I'm just like jumping back and forth between the like five different paths yeah. of um, so um, so so that's more uh, that's more what that's more more what I mean by my speech breaks down. Yeah, exactly. Oh, wow. So I think um, I think we need to uh, I think we need to wrap up. I'm I'm just about out of yeah. out of time. So a, a, any um, any uh, or, or um, what are uh, what are your final uh, what are your final comments and and what what didn't we talk about um, today? Well, actually, well, actually, you know, I, I, I really forgot something really important for you as well. I mean, this is really, really stupid from, for me, for me, of, of me. I mean, because I wanted to tell you, of course, that you know that 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 uh, you know the, the video in, in which you are, are starring, you know, or featuring, you know, is is also is already on my website. You know, so I I was uh, going to 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 tell you that last week actually, but I forgot to inform you about that. You know. But, but but the video is is already on there. Uh, well, yeah. and and um, on, on your two um, yeah what, uh, two fastwords.com yeah so so two fastwords.com it's on there already you know I mean like like videos for example with uh, David Ward with uh, Ken Ken Lewis for example you know but I'm going to 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 publish them actually from from tomorrow or something I guess you know because I wasn't really really ready to uh, you know with my website already, you know, so so that's why I I I, I just forgot to inform you about about that. But you know, so oh, well, um, cool. That's yeah. uh, that's awesome. I'm gonna yeah yeah sure. Um, I'm, gonna I, I'm, I'm gonna check them out today then. Yeah sure yeah well please do that you know so yeah so that's that's, that's cool yeah so um, and uh, well and yeah, maybe you know maybe it's it, it's also you know. Well, or maybe it might be be good for you I, or for me, or maybe I guess that that you are saying you know that I'm a non-native because you know people from from the states, for example, you know might think about me. Hey, did this guy, you know, wh where is he from, or you know, or you know, or things things like like that, maybe. So you know, maybe you could put a, put a comment or something somewhere below, or you know, in the video or, or whatever, you know, just to inform them because I can imagine that, that the people might think uh, weird about that. You know, not not sure, of course, but you know, just in a thought. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and 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 you um, you do speak English like a native, so. Oh no, no, no don't do that. <laughs> well, thanks, for a bit, but you know. yeah, but uh, you know, so that might be a, might, might might be a, a thing to do, but um, you know, it, this is your your video, of course, so you know, so so, so please go ahead and, and if you know. And uh, yeah, well, well, I mean, would you like to to have another? Uh, well, you know, maybe. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, one more question again. Would you would you like me to, for example, to 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 to, to post your videos or some of them on my side as well? You know, just to get a more more awareness and more more outreach. Yeah, uh, that, uh, that would uh, that would be awesome. So 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 my little brother uh, my little brother is um, pretty popular on YouTube. He's got uh, well, I, I haven't checked for like three months, but he had like. Uh, or actually, um, he, um, he's got over a hundred thousand subscribers. Wow! wow. Like, um, like, like each of his um, each of his videos has like ten, uh, at least like ten thousand views. Wow! Uh, within uh, within twenty four hours, and, um, and 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 so I was um, I um, I appeared on one of his videos. We did a uh, we did kind of an interview like this, and and it was really interesting that like I've been I've been publishing like a whole bunch of. Uh, videos and like um, like like um, a really really successful video on my website gets like a hundred views. Wow! And um and 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 we just did this like casual interview and I think uh, I think it has like over like thirteen thousand views. Wow! So, that's great. Um so um so um so so like that um, um that uh, that video has been viewed like uh, like twenty times more than like any of my videos yeah. in the last like uh, like like three years um, so so anyway my, my whole point is that um that that i'm trying to I, i'm trying to be like a popular youtuber yeah. and so yeah. um, and so any um, anything uh, anything helps because i um, right now i have like 200 and, 
280 subscribers. So oh, that, 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 that's great, man. Already. Yeah. You know, so, <laughs> well, you know, that's great. Yeah. Okay. So, um, and, uh, let me see. Oh yeah. And, and would you like to do, you know, maybe some, some other time, of course, but you know, some, I mean, a new, new interview with, with me or, or together, you know, I mean, like we're, yeah, you know, yeah. Show, and, and, show and it'd be cool to, uh, it'd be cool to talk about like, like, like something specific. Cause yeah. Uh, this has been this has kind of been general like like interview like back um, backstory and so yeah exactly uh, so it'd be really cool to like 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 focus more on uh, like, like just pick something and then um dive yeah into it. sure so yeah uh, so yeah it's um it's been really it's been really cool talking to you and um, same same uh, for, for me yeah really so thanks for, yeah, as well uh, I, I when mean, when do you think you know you are you are going to publish publish this on your on your channel or on the uh, cluttering speech group or something or um, so, so probably, um, probably tomorrow. And and, and let me uh, uh, let me uh, let, let me stop the recording. So so thanks. Oh yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, me too. By the way, yeah. Uh, yeah.